Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the new update to Elementor Pro. Now this new update brings with it a new widget. This time we've got the search widget. So this allows us to create and customize our own search widgets to allow us to search our WordPress website. Now this is something that's only available in the Pro version, so if you don't have Pro, you need to upgrade to that to get this new widget. So let's just jump into WordPress and take a look at what this new widget gives us. Okay, so just bear in mind, like I've said, this is a Pro version widget, so if you don't have Pro, you're going to need to purchase that. If you are thinking of purchasing Pro and you'd like to help support this channel and help us create more content for you, please consider using the affiliate link in the description below. It costs you no more money, but a small percentage of that comes back to the channel and helps support us and helps us create more content. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at how we can start using this new search widget. Now, as with most things that Elementor give us, we have a lot of functionality built in and a lot of control over how it's all styled. So we can make sure that whatever we sort of put into our website is going to look good. So we're going to use it in its basic form at the moment. Now we know that Elementor recently brought out the option to do custom headers and footers. And now the fact we can create our own custom search sections really does help us sort of take those up another notch. So the first example is I'm going to show you how you could use this in one of the templates to apply to the header area of your website. So you can see this is the sort of basic page I've got and currently we have the Sustainable Diets logo set in the middle and we've got space on the left and right hand sides. So I'm going to jump over back into Elementor. I've come into my particular header section so you can see I'm customizing the header at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this logo over to the left-hand section and we're going to add the new widget into the right-hand column so we can kind of balance everything off nicely. So what we're going to do is come over to the Elementor panel on the left-hand side, scroll down to the Pro Level Elements and you'll see towards the bottom we now have the new option for Search Form. So let's just position that into our design on the right hand side and you can see we now have a typical looking search form. We've got the area we can enter our text into to search and then we have the button on the right hand side. If we take a look now on the left hand side you can see the context options that are available and we've got the search form. Under style we can go through, we can specify the inputs, we can style that and configure that and we can also configure the button option. As always you've got your advanced section where you can go through and do things like your margins and padding and so on but that's pretty standard on any kind of widget you're going to use. So let's take a look at the content option first of all. You can see we've got a couple of skins. We've got classic, minimal and full screen. For this example we're going to keep it a classic but in the second example I'll show you some of the other options we have available. So let's leave that at classic. The placeholder allows us to input any text you want to be the default placeholder inside that text entry area. So whatever language you're working in, you can easily change the placeholder text to match exactly what you need for your website. Next up, we've got the button option. You can see we can choose between an icon or text, so we can easily switch between those. And then the option underneath will change depending upon the context we've got applied. So let's just leave that to be icon and you can see we've got two icons available at the moment. It would be nice if we had the option in a future update to pick and choose the icon we'd like to use in it. So we have that extra little level of customizability. But for now, this is pretty good. Then we've also got the size option, which allows us then to tweak the actual overall size of the search form. So we can fine tune and tweak that to make sure it sits in our design nicely. So let's put that up to about 25, somewhere around that kind of region. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that's the basics of the content area. Now, if we jump to the style tab, we can go through and we can start configuring everything. As always, we've got options for normal, but we've also now got an option for focus. And what that means is when you click inside the search box, we can control how it looks when it's clicked in. So you may want to sort of put a subtle shadow to make it look like it raises off the page. Well, you can do that easy just by switching between the normal and the focus option. It's the same kind of things you have with the button states. You can see we've got the toggle switch for typography. So if we expand that out, we can now go through and customize the text, the layout, the color, the line spacing, and so on that's inserted inside the search area with both the default text and whatever value you type in when using the search box. So you can really make sure that everything sits in line exactly as it needs to with the design that you're creating. So we've got that really low level level of design. Let's just disable that for now. So we can go through and change the text color, background color, and so on. We can also set the border width on there and the border radius. So if we take a look, we can drag that over. We can make more of a pill shape kind of layout. 
We can expand the button option out. You can see again, we've got options in there, the normal button options for the normal and the hover state. We can go through and set the text color, the background color and so on, the icon size, the width, so we can make sure we get everything to sit exactly as we want. So if you want to change the color of that, for example, well, we can do that as well. So let's just go through and set the background color. So we'll make sure it kind of sits in line with the logo. So we just click the background color, choose a color that's fairly close to the color of my logo and make sure that the text color sits right as well. So we set that to be white and you can see very quick, very easy or very intuitive, the normal things you'd expect from Elementor. So let's just save that now. We've created our search form. We've set everything up the way you want. If I jump back over to my demo page and refresh that, because we've got this set up as a, the header, and we've got that set within our design to be the custom header that's going to be used on every single page. If I refresh that, you can see now our search bar appears at the top right hand side exactly as we set it up on there. Fully responsive, styled exactly how we'd like. So that's this kind of basic form and that's the normal search section you see on most websites. But we can do more. So let's do another example and take a look at other ways we can use this new search function. Okay, so I've created another page where we've got a full width kind of image header, and we're going to use this as the area we want to sort of insert our search section in. So let's just grab that search form and drop it in there. So you can see it pulls in exactly the same as it did last time. Now let's take a look at the other skins we have available. We've got minimal, which will get rid of the button on the right hand side. So it means we just end up with a placeholder. Pressing the enter will mean, or return key, will mean you'll do the search. So that's quite nice, and you can create something really simple and stylish. But if you want to go super minimal, then what you can do is you can come down and choose full screen. And what that does is it just puts the search icon in there. So we've got something very simple, very clean. We can adjust the position of that, the size of it, the placeholder text, all those kind of things. But what this does is when we click on the search icon, click, you see that gives us a full screen layout. So you can kind of get a real nice level of interaction there where you remove any distractions and allow someone to start going through and searching for exactly what they want. As always, you've got the style options, which you can go through and do the overlay color so we can set this to any color we want. So we wanted it to be green. We want to adjust the opacity on there. We can do whatever kind of color layout we want to make sure it sits in line with your overall design. Again, we can adjust the text color, the border color, and so on and right the way through. Kind of the toggle option, and you can see we can change the icon size, the style of the icon, the border width, color, and so on. Again, we've got normal and hover. So we've got a range of different ways we can use this new search form inside Elementor Pro. So you can use it as part of your overall design. You can use it in your headers, your custom headers, your custom footers, any way you want, and you can mix and match as many search forms as you like. Now, yet again, this is another great addition to Elementor Pro and something I think a lot of people are going to get some real use out of. Nice to get down to the fact that you don't rely upon the WordPress default search. You can now make something look a lot better and sit inside your design. There is one thing that I really would like to see, whether this is something that's achievable easily with Elementor or not, I don't know. But it would be nice if we could go through and specify what the search searches against. So, for example, if you use Ocean WP as your theme and you use the WooCommerce plugin, you can specify the search only searches for the products as opposed to your pages and your posts, which is fantastic. I'd love to see something like that with this new element or search widget where you can then set up a search form, for example, that will only look for your products or search form that will only search for the posts. That way you get a lot more low level of control over how your search works in your site. So hopefully we'll see that in a future release or a future update of this particular function in Elementor Pro. Anyway, that's it. That's the new feature that's been released this week for Elementor Pro, the new search feature. I hope this video has given you a good insight into how you can use those, how you can customize everything to make sure it sits in with your design. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. Speaking of being updated, don't forget to hit that little bell icon to be notified when there's new content released. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything else we cover on the channel, or anything you'd like to see covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.